Is that Chris? Man, what is good, YouTube? Y'all already know who it is. It's Lucas J here, man. Back here with another video, y'all. And today, man, we got a crazy and wild video to talk about. I told y'all, man, I'm about to get back consistent and I'm finna get to doing what I gotta do. Now, it seems like in today's classroom, y'all, we got BBG back on the roster again. Yes, y'all, we got ex-NBA slash BBG affiliate D on the roster, and he has some things to say to about Baby Joe, pretty much his cousin, and NBA young boy in the whole camp after they pretty much did not, I guess, necessarily support his decision on him changing his life over to God. And we're going to break all this down. And I feel like this is an interesting topic to talk about. Now, before we even get into all this, bro, y'all know my little routine because you two don't be pushing my videos. Y'all just hit that like button, bro, and smash that notification bell so that you can be notified anytime I drop a video, bro. And I can also just keep y'all updated on this whole situation in general. Now, I'm going to give y'all time to hit that like button and smash that bell, bro. Y'all got me? I bet. Now, basically, what we got going on, as I said, y'all, um, y'all don't know, we got Baton Rouge rapper BBGD on the roster, um, and he has some things to say to the whole NBA camp. Now, if y'all don't know, uh, maybe a couple weeks ago, or maybe like a month ago, he pretty much announced that he was turning his life over to God, and he was done with the streets, and pretty much saying that he living for God, none more, none less. <sighs> If you're not right with God, the Lord Jesus Christ, it's time right now. We ain't got no more time but today. Today is the only day. Get your life right with the Lord Jesus. You hear what I'm saying? I'm done with this world. All my flesh, I'm done. I just want to live my life for Jesus Christ. You hear me? I'm done. I love y'all. Jesus is the way. Believe. We ain't got much time, man. Now, y'all remember I made that video, and I said, you know, I'm proud of him, you know, because, you know, when you're in the streets, bro, you know what come with it. You know, two things come with that. That's either jail or death, but pretty much he was on IG Live, and as he was on live, I guess he was just, like, preaching or whatever, spreading the word of God, and he said this within his live. Jesus coming to get those that are his. He on his way back. These are the last days. Amen, my brother. Ooh, this... You gotta, you gotta choose a side. I ain't talk to them in a little minute, brother. You hear me? I just seen baby Joe, though. It's like they don't even care, but I care about them. You hear me? I do. Truly, I do, my brothers. I do, I do, I care about them. Brother, I do, brother, I do. I pray for them every day, brother. Baby Joe and them, my own cousin, come on, blood. If they ain't on when I'm on, I'm good. I promise you, it's all good. God, I thank you for opening my eyes, man. Yeah, yeah, why be them too? Yeah, man, I don't care about none of that. Nobody gonna do me nothing. Baby Joe, all them. I stand on that partner. <laughs> I stand on that, man. Now, as y'all see, pretty much he was on live and he spoke on Baby Joe's and he said that he still loved him. And he said that if they ain't with God and he got to separate himself with him, he good with that. And pretty much saying that they seem like they don't really too much care about his decision. And to be honest with you, if that's the case, you know, even though that's, that's your cousin, the fact that he changed his life for God, I'm just thought about saying that is the number one thing you could do. Forget what's popular because we know in the rap culture, God is not pushed. They promote Satan more than anything. You know what I'm saying? All these dudes, I'm a demon or um, you can see the devil in my eyes and sits and all that. But that's what's promoted. But that is not what's good for you. You know, anytime you give your life to God, that's always a plus. You feel me? Um, and anytime you got friends that don't support that decision, they're not your friends. Now, what y'all got to understand is, bro, he doing something that's like this is a eternity type move. Like this is something that's going to affect this eternity. And when y'all got to understand this, when you give your life to God, everything about him going to change. The way he look, the way he talk, the way he think. It just, even if he gave his life to God, if they're not on the same type of time he on, they're going to naturally just dissonate themselves because they're 
belief, what he believe in, what he agree with is going to be totally different from them. So they're going to naturally just, they're going to stray apart because he's not going to agree with that lifestyle. And the moment's not even going to be fun no more. He going to feel like he bringing bad vibes and it's just going to be an ill feeling. So it's probably best that, you know, he do that because to be honest with you, when you give your life up to God, you're going to have to give up a lot of things. Not like that you want to, but it's going to naturally happen. Like you're not going to be able to still do the things you do, listen to the things you think. It's just everything about him going to change. Now, a lot of people on social media were saying like, oh, he's just, uh, people get shot and all of a sudden they want to change their life for God and niggas get shot one time and they don't want to do nothing no more. They don't want to get no get back. They turn Christian. I'm going to let y'all know something, man. A wise man learn from others' mistakes, you know? Why would he keep standing in the street risking his life when eventually he got hit one time? Who was to say he would survive again, you know? It just makes no sense. And that just show you how ignorant our community is and how anti, how anti, like god this world is you feel me this world is coming to an end we all know we're living in the last days now he also put a proposal on his page yesterday pretty much uh speaking on the situation a little more and he put on his page and said didn't nobody want to hop in that car when i got shot not bbg or nba i don't have no pics at all and i never asked nobody to come hop in that car with me but since god changed me i want better for everybody even if you want me dead right now you too i don't want nobody to go to hell i choose my side i'm on god's side everyday streets now as you see pretty much him saying that you know why would i keep banging this gang or standing for this gang but when i got shot did nobody hop in the car now obviously he probably happy he don't he didn't do nothing because you know as you get life to god you learn that vengeance is my of the lord you know like revenge is against god but he's saying that when he like when what happened to him he probably was expecting them to ride for him like he would do for them but they didn't so it just really showing who his real friends is you know but he's saying that you know he don't want nobody to go to hell including people that want him deceased and i'm happy he said that because a lot of people like i noticed a lot of people like i seen some on facebook or something like that the other day somebody was like hell gonna be deep but we're gonna have fun though and i seen the people going by laughing about it i don't think people understand and i'm not saying i'm perfect i'm a preacher i know i got things to work on because if i pass today god forbid bro I ain't gonna sit up here confidently and say I'm going to heaven. I know for a fact I may not, you know? And that's just something I gotta work on every day. That's why I'm trying to get my relationship right with God. But I will say, bro, hell is not what people think it is. People think hell is like this place that's gonna just be tolerable. Everybody gonna be there, you can have a party and you just ain't gonna see God. Like, I don't think y'all understand what eternity means. Time is a earthly thing. Eternity, there's no such thing as time. It's forever. Over a million years, over a thousand years, that's eternity. Like, it's never, you never, it's never stops. You know what I'm saying? So people think that, oh, it's just gonna be all good. We're gonna be burning, but it's gonna be cool. We're gonna all have fun. I don't think I understand. When you walk outside, you go outside and be like, ooh, 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 child, it's hot. And you go back in. Imagine that nonstop, bro. And you getting tortured and tormented. Ain't nothing fun about that. Ain't nothing funny about this. You feel what I'm saying? And even me, like just reading that post, it kind of like freaked me out. It scared me a little bit. Cause it might make, it make you think like, what if you die today, bro? And that be your situation because once you die there's nothing you can do bro there's nothing you don't have no power to change your life you have to you have to change your life while you're on earth because once is once you pass it's too late you know what i'm saying and that's just sad man that you know um that's how this world is going and the way everything going man the way they pushing man all these agenda these elemental peak community bro all these AI stuff, man, it's just, it's a sad world we live in. But if you read your Bible, you know, which I'm starting to do a lot more, you see, bro, everything that's said in Revelation is really starting to reveal in life. And it's sad, bro. And it's kind of scary. But the good thing about all this is if you give your life to God or just pray to God and, and just work on your relationship, God won't leave you if you genuinely and sincere about reaching out to him. You feel me? But um, y'all give me y'all thoughts and opinions about this. And let me know what y'all think about all this in the comment section. And let me know how y'all feel about BBGD, new life, and how he's turning himself. Give me what y'all think. Y'all already know who it is. It's Look at Jay, man. Thank God for another day. Y'all be safe. I love y'all. Christ loves y'all more, as I always says. And yeah, bro, I'm out, man.